All right, welcome back to TCG Love. Hello uh, to my last video for the uh, original Terrors bundle openings. This time it's Born of the Gods. If you want me to see, if you want to see me open any of these other products, subscribe to my channel. Let me know if you actually want to do, if you want to torture yourself, and um, and I will oblige. But today. It's Born of the Gods. So the last two bundles were a big punch in my gut. Let me record this camera real quick. Uh, maybe this will be different. Maybe this will, will save me from my losses of the last two. Uh, I doubt it, but you can always unreasonably hope. So it has the same swag in here as the other ones. Let's open this fat pack. Oh, throw away all of this. There's uh, some deck boxes, spin down, and nine booster packs. All right, let's get this over with. So, if you're new to, if you're new to this channel, I open each Magic the Gathering product, scan all the cards for their value, sell all the expensive cards, and record my data. In the Google spreadsheet in the description below, so you have a better idea of which products are actually gonna, you know, not lose your money, uh, which products are worth buying. From my experience, these old school bundles, fat packs, whatever you call it, are not worth it, but. Maybe this one will be different. Here are only lands, you can open it. Uh, so let's start cracking. I'm a little bit afraid that these might be repacks and that's why I lose money on them. Can you can you see any Scamerino? I can't really tell. And the seller, like I bought them on eBay. The seller seems like reputable I don't know seems like normal seems like a good seller but maybe he's scamming me maybe he snuck out all the good cards and left me with the book rares all right so we got the first card scanning and it's hero plane tower two cents no surprise here Open the next one, maybe carefully. Nope, I'm not carefully. This one, all right. The rare in this one is Hunter's Prowess. Two cents. Oh, focus. Because you try opening them carefully anymore. And this it's this rare is Astro Cornucopia. It might be something. Nope. 16 cents. Alright, next one. Maybe let's just skip all the comments and comments. Mind Reaver. Night Reaver is two cents. No, so nothing. No, this kind of will cover all these booster packs that's getting here. All right. Well, the foils are not worth anything as well. Another Hunter's Prowess, which is nothing. I don't even gonna scan it. Oh, oh, do we? Nope. I was excited a little bit that I can open this one carefully, but I couldn't. All right, let's go for the comments, uncomments, and the rare is Silent Sentinel. Cool foil. Sure, there's probably nothing worth it. That's just for curiosity. In foil, it's 16 cents. Nothing, of course. Silent Sentinel is 2 cents. Also nothing. So this looks like 
a horrible, horrible purchase, just like the first two. Herald of Torment. Two cents. I wonder why the prices for these old bundles, for these, well, not bundles, I guess, for any product for the rest drops. After a while, people don't get bored of playing the cards, or there's power creep going on, or something. 11 cents. Or I literally just got scared. These are all the cool cards, and they're all, always wor worth nothing. And we got Scorch of Scholar Tail as our last rare, and it's also nothing. All right. Three fat bags, three fat dildos up my ass. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I'm not sure if I should swear so much on this channel, but I'm not a partner yet, so whatever. Fuck it. So these three fat packs were a horrible, horrible, horrible investment, but I mainly bought it for the box. I guess I paid 40 bucks for this hardcover box, which I can put in my collection. Uh, uh, I probably would have gotten it cheaper somewhere um, separately, but it was still fun. No, it wasn't fun. Um, it wasn't fun at all. <laughs> if you want me to, if you want to see me open some fun products, subscribe to my channel, March of the Machine is hitting shelves in a month, a few weeks. I'm gonna pre-order it, I'm gonna open all the products on pre-release, scan cards, see if I can make my money back. If you want to see me open these bundles, let me know. I mean, maybe they will save me. Icoria was actually one of my favorite sets. It has a bunch of uh, fetch lands that are worth I think still a lot of money and man the artwork on this one is great. Teros, not so much. Brothers War, maybe. It's, maybe it's still new enough to not screw me over. Um, yeah, let me know if you want me to open these ones. Um, I will actually wait for your answer. I'm not gonna open them until I know for sure that people want to see it because maybe I'm just scaring away subscribers with these sad openings. Uh, even Bulbasaur fell asleep, but thanks still for watching. Thank you for all the new subscribers. I got almost 250 subscribers now. Uh, very excited and very excited for March of the Machine, of course. Check my last videos. The last video I opened was Pokemon vs. Yu-Gi-Oh, which was also a bummer. If you want more of Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh, let me know, um, just so I have a little bit of feedback because I'm actually not sure anymore if I will keep buying them. Anyway, peace out. Not gonna overstretch this video. Uh, see you next time. This was TCG Love. Have a good day.